Hey, this is Jamie with Still Meyer Games, and today I'm going to talk to you about the newest game that I've played, um, even though it's an older game, and that is Expedition Northwest Passage. You can see here a couple photos from the game. We played this on Board Game Arena. So this first photo is early on in the game as we are placing tiles here. This is a competitive game. And then late in the game when we place almost all the tiles. And it is a racing um, tile placement game. So you're starting over on this side of the map competitively uh, with the other players. And you are trying to race to this side of the map and then make it all the way back. And part of this is placing tiles, part of this is gathering um, some, some set collection things throughout the game that you compare to other players. If I've gathered more one thing than you, I get some more points for it. So you don't even have to complete the race, you can just move around and get points. Um, but this game does something really, really interesting in terms of how this race works, which is, uh, let's see if we can find a little token. Um, where's the little token? Okay, so it's right here. This little token right here determines um, whether or not the water is frozen or not. Um, and this is tied to some other, another interesting mechanism in the game. So I'm going to talk about two things today. One is when you start out on the expedition, you have a ship, a little ship meeple, and you have a, a bunch of, uh, of workers in that ship. And you set sail, and, and all is good uh, because you have these, these frozen islands and you have water um, in the middle. And so you set sail on this water, you're moving from tile to tile. But as you sail, uh, the weather changes, and some of those tiles are going to simply freeze over. And so as you move, at a certain point, if you haven't navigated well, your ship is going to freeze. This little tile here moves around the board, determining uh, what, is, what is frozen or not. Um, everything below it is frozen or is, uh, is not frozen. So at a certain point, this thing's gonna get across on this side of the board and big chunks of the board are gonna start to freeze up. And at that point, and even before that if you want, you can let some of your workers out of the ship onto a sled where they can move across land and frozen water. The ingenious thing here, in my opinion, is the idea that the, the movement on the terrain itself is going to change throughout the game because uh, water is viable movement for your ship at a certain point of the game, but at certain points it just won't be. It'll be frozen. So the, the, it's changing from a liquid to a solid, basically. Um, and, and that changes the way that you have to interact with it. And while at the same time, uh, because you are in charge of placing the tiles, if you are going for a sled heavy strategy, it is possible to do that even before the water freezes over because there's plenty, as you can see here, there's plenty of land, as you can see it here. Look at this giant land mass that we have. So I could use my sled all across this entire land mass, walking, taking it around, gathering uh, uh, points for set collection, things for set collection. And yes, I can't reach, I, by sled alone, I cannot reach the uh, the end of uh, the race here and by the way I didn't mention this but you have to get back you have to race all the way here and get back so my sled I can't do that but I can do plenty of things with my sled just with the land by itself you can kind of see in that photo how uh, the very top of the screen is frozen but the core idea here I really really love the idea that uh, the water itself is changing into a solid at different points in the game and how that matters for how you interact with the movement across this map it reminds me a little bit of clank and that you are running into this not dungeon but into this area of the world and then running back out um but uh but unlike clank it does something a little bit different it has the water that can actually freeze over and therefore you have to get out on a sled your your ship stops and you have to get out on a sled and and, and do your best to um to, to gather points and to get to the end if you can so yeah, that's Expedition Northwest, pa Northwest Passage. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this game if you have any other, if you've played it and have another favorite mechanism you'd like to discuss, or if this reminds you of any other game where the the, the state of the the board in this way, the, the 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 terrain, the composition of it is actually changing throughout the game. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks.